what is going on everybody, how are we all doing and welcome back today to another brand new Inform Player Review on FIFA 17 and today we're going to be taking a look at the third Inform, Lorenzo Insigne, the pocket rocket from Napoli, he's got himself an 88 rated card and it looks incredible, so before we get stuck into the review, as always make sure to leave a massive thumbs up on the video, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, but we're going to kick things off like we always do with the basic information for Lorenzo Insigne, he's standing at 5 foot and 4 inches is tall, he's got high to medium work rates, four star skill moves and a three star weak foot and looking at his base card and top five in game stats, absolutely incredible lads. Like I said, it's his third in form, 88 rated now, he comes with 94 pace, 93 dribbling, 85 shooting, 89 passing, 65 physical and 35 defending and his top five in game stats are in like amazing, absolutely amazing. He's got 99 agility, 98 acceleration, 98 balance, 98 stamina and 96 position. Like I say, absolutely amazing top five stats there. And he also comes with a long shot taker, speed dribbler, and uh, finesse star free kick traits and specialities as well. You can see the team that we used to be in on screen now, using him in that 4 3 2 1 formation, of course, playing that left forward role. And in the five games that we played with this card, he came away with a very very nice return of eight goals and three assists as well. And as we start to get into the, some of the clips of Insignia in action now, he's an absolutely amazing card, lads. I'm going to say that straight off the bat. And um, he's probably one of the... I'm going to say, actually, he's the best dribbler I've used this year. I've not used Messi, but I imagine he feels very similar. But just, just because he's so quick on the turn, the ball sticks to his feet, and he just glides in and out of tackles so, so easily. The only two negatives with this card, really... The main one is the one you'd expect, really. He's not very strong at all, very weak. If you do get in a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with a defender, he is going to get pushed off the ball. But the other one is his weak foot. Now, it's a bit of a combination between weak foot and finishing, but because he plays on the left-hand side, and you're like, well, I personally do a lot of low drivens this year, obviously they end up being on his left foot, and that sometimes means that they're not the greatest effort, so it's not fully his weak foot it's not really his finishing either because when he does get it on his right foot his finishing is fantastic for me but it's a bit of a combination of weak foot being on the left hand side and finishing combined together but aside from that like I've already mentioned his dribbling is absolutely insane he's also absolutely rapid especially his acceleration is absolutely blinding pulls away from defenders for fun and then his movement and position as well are absolutely on point for me always making the right runs always in the right place at the right time and you see in the clips in the background he just absolutely glides past defenders for fun, particularly by using that no touch dribbling. You just can't read which way he's going to go just because he's so agile and his balance is so incredible. Overall, we're going to be giving him a 9 out of 10. Like I say, an absolutely unbelievable card. Highly, highly recommend giving him a go. He's going on Xbox currently for around 210k mark, so he's not a cheap card, but for that 210k, you do get some incredible stats and an incredible, incredible card. But that is going to end up the play review, lads. Like I said, at the very start, if you did enjoy it, if you do enjoy it, make sure leave a massive thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all in tomorrow's upload lads speak to you there, need you out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the.